What's up guys, I'm Justin Swasher. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna be learning how to pack a parachute. There's been plenty of times that we've been at the racetrack and people ask me to come over there and pack their chute or go over there and just do it for them. I don't mind doing that at all, but if you don't know how to do it, it's okay. Maybe after watching this video, you'll be able to go out and pack your own chute as well or pack somebody else's chute at the racetrack. I wasn't too long ago, I was at a racetrack and somebody dumped a chute out in the staging lanes. And I was walking up, I was going up to see Mike's car. He was in the burnout box and a guy asked me, he said, man, I don't know how to pack the parachute and we're about to be the next pair out. Is there any way you can go ahead and throw this chute back in real quick? It's just somebody that bumped the button on the steering wheel, chute came out in the staging lanes. Luckily, I was there at the right time. I was able to help the guy pack his chute and then still get out there and help Mike. Even though Mike was on the headset yelling at me, yo, like, where are you at, blah, blah, blah. And I had to let him know, I'm back here packing someone's chute. He's like, what do you mean you're packing someone's chute? There was a time before, I didn't know how to pack a chute. I had to learn from somebody. Somebody taught me, you're never too old to learn. I learn new things every day. All right, boys, so before we start real quick, the weight challenge we had in the video a couple days ago, I asked everybody how much weight was on the front of the car. Yes, there used to be a bar right here. I took it off. It just sits over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and let you know there was one person that won right here. It's got it on my phone. I screenshotted it. Andy Diaz. I'm not sure if I'm saying your last name right, Andy, but if you are, please hit me up on here, comment, or you can hit my email at swangang96 at gmail.com. You won the free Swan Gang merch pack. I'll go ahead and get your address and get it sent out to you. It was a total of 56 pounds, guys. There's 13 pounds in here. That's 13 and 13, which is 26. The bar that went across here was 20 pounds. That makes 46, and these are five pound pucks. So a total of 10 pounds, a all total of 56 pounds. There was a lot of comments. There was a lot of people that were close, 55, 57, everything. But there was only one person that said 56. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these, so y'all stay tuned and y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel because you might get to win something in the future. All right, boys, so we're actually gonna take the parachute out of the car. We're gonna go ahead and lay it out and then we're gonna take it step by step on how to properly pack a parachute. I'm gonna go ahead and let our new cameraman, you know, that's Dimebag No. y'all seen him on the channel a couple times. He's an ex-drug dealer, now he's our camera guy, boys. I did not sell drugs. You, you don't have to lie to them, it's okay. Accept your past. I don't have a past. <laughs> Anyways, guys, he's the new camera guy. He's gonna be following us around. We're gonna be able to get a lot more angles, a lot more videos. So y'all go ahead, give him a clap of hands. I know y'all really can't clap your hands on the other side of the screen. So let's go ahead and drop a comment down below and welcome Noah in on the team. But enough of me talking, let's jump into this video. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go ahead and dump the shoot out. This is the first time this shoot's actually been out of the car. Uh, I packed it whenever I first got it, but I haven't got able to pull it yet because we haven't been able to get the car down the track. So it's in a perfect bag. It is set up perfectly right now. What we're going to do is, is we're going to run it all the way out and then I'm going to show you properly how to pack a parachute. Let's get it all messed up. So I don't want people think, oh, it was too easy. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, Brian? What's going down, man? What you uh, got cooking? You just getting off work? Uh, well, not work. Yeah, I had some stuff I had to do over at the pole barn, uh, getting stuff ready for the RV and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, just finished up with that, you know. I'm teaching ready. uh teaching the boys how to pack a parachute. Really nice, yeah, man. There's a lot of people that don't know how. Yeah. Hey, who, who who's this new guy over here? What's that? No, that's Don Bag Noah. You didn't know that? Man, that's the dude that gets us a product. Yes. Really? Man, dive bag Noah, nice to meet you finally, man. <laughs> I don't sell drugs. you got good stuff, man. I don't, like. sell, I don't sell drugs. You don't? Come on now, man. Don't he, don't he look like an ex-drug dealer? Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he is. He uh, thinks just because he wears jeans and boots now, yeah. he, don't, he can't hide it. Yeah, yeah. You can't hide your past, yeah, Noah. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. You gotta, you gotta live up to your past, buddy. But hey, man, good product, by the way, man. Good stuff. I don't sell drugs. Good, good product. Hey, you got a cold beer in here? Yes, sir. Guys, we're gonna open this up so we get a little bit more room in here. All right, so check it out. 
Yeah. Say you just got done dumping the shoots in someone's face. You just won a grudge race, won a round, did something. You dumped it right in their face. I've dumped a lot of shoots in a lot of people's faces. You know, Kai Kelly, my son, Daddy Dave, all the, they have all gotten at least one of my shoots in their face. So when you're down there at the other end of the track, I like to pack my shoot before my guys get down there. But if sometimes I just throw it on the back of the car, when we get back to the pits, we'll pack it up. So we're gonna go ahead and stretch this out. Lay that down. Come up here. Some shoots don't have this, but most of them do. They got a little piece that's like uh, that's sewed in, which holds this like little four lines they got here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back, you're gonna find out where they're at, and you're gonna make sure none of them are tangled up. I can tell you who does this perfectly is Dre Gray out of up north. He, he packs the most amazing parachute I've ever seen in my life. But sometimes I'm in a rush, I'm in a hurry, and I gotta get things done. It still works the same, but his shoot does look good. Shout out to Dre, he does awesome work when it comes to packing a parachute. So we're gonna make sure this thing, nothing's tangled up, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our chute. So what you're gonna do is, how the chute deploys, you'll see the air will grab it and it'll take all three angles and it just props it up. I wish I had some kind of wind tunnel or something to be able to show y'all exactly how it works. Uh, I don't think that'll do it. Put it like right here, B. Oh yeah, there it goes. We're getting a little air. Is that as high as it goes? Well, boys, that's how the parachute looks. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab these two back here, you're gonna fold them up, kind of like how you fold up grandma's blanket. See how you get it to connect up here? Then you're gonna reach down, you're gonna grab the third flap. I call it a big triangle. You wanna make sure that nothing's tangled up up there. So now you got the third flap, you're gonna lay it down on the ground flat. And you got your triangle. B, how was work? Oh, hot. Oh, hot. Uh, it's hot. been very hot. Hot, humid. All right, boys. So now that you got your triangle set up, what I do is, is I go ahead and just flap it over halfway. So now you get more of like a triangle set up. That is a triangle, right? I want to make sure I know my shapes. It's triangle. That's a triangle. That's a half triangle now. Well, you sold dime bags, but this is a triangle. You might not know nothing about this. I know you know about scales, but you don't know about shapes. Okay? So boys, now that we got this, what I do is, is I flap it one more time. I get that thing nice and tight. Now that that's done, we're gonna do like an over-under type deal. So you're gonna start, we're going over. And then, I'm too fast, so I don't like laying on the ground. But then you're gonna go over, under. Over and under, till you get it done. And you can't do this by yourself, but it is cool to have somebody else. Usually I have Brian that comes in here and he goes ahead and gets the bag right. It's already right right now because of how it came out. But when you deploy a chute, the bag will turn inside out. Let's go ahead and turn it inside out real quick so they can get an accurate measurement feeling of what it feels like. It's about what it's like right there. Right there, that's it, right there. So it's been flopping around, you know. Jumping around. You about to yank the parachute out of my hand. Sorry, guys. buddy. Sorry, sorry. But anyway, little, I get up He's getting a little excited. He's ready to go racing. I'm ready to go racing. Man, I can't wait to go racing. So but now that he gets to shoot, I, I, I get the bag ready for him. Now, so, which way does the bag go? The which bag. way do we put it on the car? The, the bag just goes like this. Because when we get done and the chute is all the way inside the bag, you want to be able to flap it over the top. We'll explain that in a little bit. So now Brian sets it on the ground and we go ahead and get our chute inside our bag. Get it tucked down there nice, nice and, and tight. tight. Push it nice and tight. Nice compression. Get, get you some compression going on so there. So now that we got that some in there, action. we're going to take it up to the car now. Now that we got that, now here is where 
Dre Gray does awesome job packing his chute. Now Brian's getting everything ready. I'm gonna keep on packing the chute. Uh, Dre does this deal where it's like a zigzag line back and forth. You can do that. Uh, it comes out phenomenal. It will go ahead and spool out and do everything perfectly. I personally, I don't do that. I do a spiral effect. So what I do is, is I go ahead and take my, my straps, my four straps, and I go ahead and put them in a spiral. And I stack them right on top of each other. Get about halfway down, and then I push it down in the bag. Some more compaction. Then I keep going around. Push it down inside the bag. And then you're on the last one. So this white piece here, that's what's hanging out of the bottom of the car. As you can see on this chute, it's hanging out right now. So what I do is, because this is the right side of the parachute, I want this piece to be on the inside, just like on this left side of the parachute, this piece is on the inside, it hangs in the middle of the car. Some people put them on the outside, some people put them in the middle. That's just how I've always done it. It's been good luck for me, I just keep on doing it. So what I do is, is I make sure I pack it one turn around. That puts it on the inside of the car. I forgot I was doing that side. That's why I was over here. You got it. Now I got it. So now I'm gonna fold it over. That locks everything in. Ugh. Now this is where we get Brian. I get my rope. You definitely gotta have a rope. Uh, remember when I was telling you at the beginning of the video, I was at the racetrack a few weeks ago and a guy pulled the chute out in the staging lanes and I had to pack it for him. He did not have a rope. He had about a six inch of electrical wire. Electric wire. Which, it worked, but really need a rope. Take a shoelace, I've taken plenty of my shoes apart to be able to have a shoelace <laughs> to be able to pack the parachute. Sometimes I forget to do it. But, what you do is, is every parachute's got this little white strap on it. So you get your rope through the strap, you even it up, and you lay that on top. Just get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and pull our chute in. Hold up, let's go up underneath this. Yeah. All right. Now, it can be done with a one burst job, but it is cool to have two people. Brian makes it a lot easier. So what Brian does, Brian holds this back piece right here. He puts pressure on it. Makes the chute nice and small. I go around with the bag and I tuck everything in. Once I get it all tucked in, we're gonna take our rope we're gonna to go to the bottom first. Brian's got pressure on it. Bottom, pull up. Take your thumb and you hold it right there so nothing can come back out. Now we're gonna to go to the left side and we're gonna pull it over. And then we're gonna go over to the right side. The reason why we did the right side last is because this is where the pin comes from. So when that pin deploys, the right side comes out first. Someone has packed this chute wrong. I did not put these back here together. We will be going back through now that I see this and we'll actually repack this. But if you're on the left side of the car, you will put the left flap on the outside. You can see I don't pull both chutes. Well, I haven't pulled none of the chutes yet because we haven't <laughs> made it down the track. But I have the left chute pin where I only use one chute right now. So now that we do that, you take this rope right here, you go behind the pin. You can pull it from the front side of the pin, but nine times out of the 10, the little piece at the end gets hung up on here and it messes it up. So put it behind the pin, parachute pin, and you pull it nice and out. Nice and perfect. And then you go ahead and go through, set up the parachute how you want it, make sure it's nice and snug. Hell yeah. And she's ready to go ahead. Give her a nice little slap in the, you know what, tail end. She's ready to rock. She's ready to rock. And then you take your shoestring. Show them, buddy. Show them where you put the shoestring. Because <laughs> I usually forget about it, but you take the shoestring and you mount it on either the wing, the parachute, or anything. So as you can see, I'll take it on this wing right here. Come through, pull it tight. Oh, sorry. Uh, pull it tight, and we'll go ahead and let the shoestring hang so I can have it every time I'm at the racetrack 
and at the other end. Because it is not fun to be at the other end of the track and not have a shoestring. And then the funniest thing is when he gets back here sometimes to pull the wheelie bars, that little shoestring will rub his neck and you'll think he had a spider. Oh, yeah, and I don't like spiders, guys. You don't like spiders. I don't like spiders. You don't like spiders. About three years ago, funny story. So, three years ago, we had uh, the shop outside. We didn't have this whole area right here. So we were working outside in a tent. We had a serious rain coming down. Well, we live out in the country. So we got these big old, what do they call wolf, wolf spiders. spiders? Wolf spiders. These things are like this big, bro. And I'm not exaggerating. I don't care if it's small, big, or whatever. But this thing is this big. Like, like look at that. That, that. that big. So we come walking outside. And this, whatever creature, whatever the hell you want to call it, God's gift, was crawling over the top of my roof and went into my car door. Went down inside, and I seen it on top of the roll cage. And then all of a sudden, it started crawling to the back of my car, and there was a little hole, like pinhole, about, I don't know, half an inch wide. I don't even know how this big thing fit in there. But he crawled up inside there and went between the cages somewhere around inside the car. What did I tell you? We were not getting back in the car. Not getting into the car till we found this spider. So you know what we had to do? We couldn't find the spider because, you know, just could not find it. We had, you know, back then we were in the garage. We had to roll the car up in the garage. I had to go up to Home Depot and buy three bug bombs. Uh, he wouldn't let me just buy one. He said, you get three. We're gonna set all three of them off in the car. And that's what we did. And the just to reassure him <laughs> that that spider was dead. I don't like spiders, guys. I don't know what it is. I didn't have nothing stupidly happen to me when I was a kid, but I just do not like spiders. So. If any of y'all come up to me with a spider or whatever, I swear to God, I will football punt it across the racetrack. Don't bring your pet up to me saying, hey, come look how cute it is because they ain't cute. None of them are cute. Hey, I don't care what you said. He'll kiss a snake on the lips, but he don't like spiders. I don't like spiders. And I don't know what it is. So pretty cool little fact. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. As you can see, me and Brian showed you properly how to pack a parachute. Uh, is there multiple ways to skin a cat? Is there multiple ways to pack a parachute? Yes, there is. If you have a better way, it suits you and it works, awesome. Hey. I've seen a lot of people at the racetrack trying to deploy chutes and the car chutes do not deploy and they end up getting themselves in trouble. So find a way that where it deploys safe for you and go ahead and do that method. And then, hey, you all might have a better way than we do it. Show hey, us. Video it and send it to us Sh so we can see what you got going Show on. Show us, guys. Also, don't forget, new merch. It's out. It's comfortable. It fits perfectly. It's awesome. We're selling a lot of it. I already got new merch on the way coming. Different colors, different shirt designs. I got women's leggings coming, women's tank tops. I got pop sockets for the back of the phones, keychains. A lot of stuff coming. We are growing rapidly. Hey, a lot of people have been asking me about the hats, buddy. What's they are. Up? They're coming What's too. What's up with the hats? I actually, you can see, this is my buddy right here, Mike Scarvino, Speed and Truck World. I love his hat. I love how comfortable it is. I love everything about it. Uh, actually, earlier today, I ordered a bunch of hats. So I've already got them set up. We just got to slap the logo on. I want to make sure everything is 100% correct for y'all before I dropped it. I know it took a while to drop the new merch, but I wanted to make sure everything came out perfectly. And I think the Swan Gang with a spray can came out awesome. I think we're going to do a lot more shirt colors. We got a lot more stuff for the females coming and the males as well. Plus, you got the Street Outlaw No Prep Kings merch that's already out there and people are buying it up. I can't even thank y'all how many people has already purchased the merch. We got a lot of races coming up here soon, and we're going to have plenty of merch at the track for you. We may not run for shit, but we're going to look good trying. Yes, we are. Don't want to ever forget it. And then you never know. We just might sneak up on them street outlaw boys. Got it. Also, boys, the three questions is back. So don't forget, drop your questions down below. Let's go ahead and answer them. I'm going to get the whole team to answer them. I got Big Daddy Brian. I got Big Country. We got Slinky. He'll be coming back here soon. And we'll go ahead and get those questions answered. And also, we got the new camera guy, Dimebag Noah. He's done left the street life behind him, boys. He's here for us now. I was never a part of the street life. <laughs> Man, this guy gets us our product. Don't let him lie to Just you. When we turn the camera off, he's going to be like, hey, I got it in the car. I'll go get most. I got your stuff in the car. We had to get rid of Mike. We picked up Noah. Yeah. Dime back Noah. Oh, dime back Noah. All right, boys. We'll see y'all at the next one. Next video, we're going to be showing y'all how to properly fill nitrous bottles. That is Brian Station. I'm going to let him take over the video. We'll have dime bag Noah on the back of the camera. We'll be inside the trailer, and we're going to show y'all what we do to be able to properly fill nitrous bottles. What, what do y'all think Those about are... the porno stash? I'm, I think I'm going to grow it out. 
Dude, I, I think it's I like coming it. in nice. I, I don't know. I'm going to shave everything else. I'm yeah. just going to grow the stash. Look. Yeah. You, you, you're gonna have the Ron Jeremy mustache? I'm liking it. Yeah, I, I am too. I uh, want to get it so big actually, where it hangs over the car. I, I am. Now, now that you say it, I I'm am. growing I'm it. it. I done had well, plenty of people ask me, oh, you need to cut it off now. Mom's mad at me right now. You need to cut that shit off. Uh, uh, Not cutting it. Uh, okay. Well, but hold on a second. Um, you need to let it come down to like the bottom, of, you know, like where your where your seam, yeah, where your seam, you know, your mouth is right mm -hmm. there. You're, you're trimming it up too high. Let it let it come down. Well, like I'll right let it grow there. out now. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, I'll handle bar it if you want me to. Uh, oh man, I'd love to see the you know, you know the old boy Pete here. Isn't that his name yeah. over there? Yeah, handlebar. Handlebar yeah, Pete. Handlebar Pete. We got handlebar Pete. We got uh, what what is it? Uh, uh bloop bloop. Dennis. We uh, got we got bloop Dennis. We got foopin Chris. Foopin. I mean, we got dime bag, Noah. My gosh, I mean, we got them all around. Uh, you know, you gotta watch out for these country boys. Crazy. We got Crazy. we got nicknames for everybody. All right, guys. I know I've already said that I'm leaving for three times now, but this is the true one. We are leaving. We'll see y'all at the next video. Don't forget subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop this video in your friends' comment section on Facebook. Do whatever. Let's keep sharing it. We are only 400 subscribers away from hitting 30,000. I would have never thought we would be at 30,000. We got something special for y'all for hitting 30,000 subscribers. We'll see y'all at the next one.